One, two, three, four. Alimajay. I took Gabe away because those other girls were very annoying. Hey, Barbie, where's my dude? Two women so competitive. Forget what you want. Sometimes you got to fight. They turn even happy hour dark. Oh, 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 oh. Brooke is running off whining. <laughs> but don't count her out yet. You guys want to have a wet t-shirt contest? Gee, I wonder who will win. It was the biggest turn on I've ever had. It all starts now. I'm Gabe. I just moved here from Virginia Beach to go to San Diego State and major in advertising. In order for a girl to sell herself to me, she's going to really have to sell her personality. Looks come natural, but I want a girl that can really sell her fun and outgoing side to me. It's very important that I find a girl that can keep up with me because uh, when there's a party going out, I'm the one that closes it down. And I want my girl there with me when I leave. <laughs> I decided to start our date in the heart of San Diego, downtown Gaslamp. There's so many different nightclubs and restaurants. It's a really fun place, a really fun atmosphere. I'm a little anxious. I'm really anxious to see what these girls look like. When people first meet me, they automatically assume I'm a bitch. Because I'm tall, I'm blonde, I've got big boobs. So, you know, why not be a bimbo? My name is Brooke, and right now I'm a professional cheerleader, but one day I'll be a news anchor. Hey, how's it going, Brooke? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good style, you know, the black leather jacket, blonde spiky hair. It's a good package all together. I'm a very nice, very sincere, sweet person, but at the same time, I have a very bad temper, and I don't take any crap off anybody. My name is Sarah, and I might be a Southern Belle, but I can really kick some ass. Hi, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Sarah had a really uh, soft look to her, like she was very sweet and very nice. Basically, within the first minute I meet a man, I can look into his eyes and tell exactly what he's looking for. My name is Jen. I'm a psychology major, which means that I'm not only beautiful, but I have brains. Oh, hey. Jen? Yeah. I thought she had great eyes. I was really attracted to, to her look and, and to her eyes. I'm a Kama Sutra pro. I got oils, massage oils, any of that freaky dicky stuff, and uh, that guy just better be ready. I'm Jack. I got a badass attitude, and I got the looks to back it up. Hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, how you doing? How you doing? He was tall as hell, damn. But, yeah, he's cute. This is not going to be easy. You're all way too tall. After I met the girls, we walked over to Redfish, and we all ordered drinks, and I got to know the girls a little bit better. So what is it that each of you do? I'm actually a professional cheerleader for the San Diego Soccers. Really? It's men's professional indoor soccer. Wow. Are you going to do a cheer for me later? Maybe. Maybe? If we're lucky. All right. I'm the last woman standing. Really? I do a lot of martial arts. Really? Yeah. yeah I have kickboxing, kung fu, and jiu-jitsu. Watch out. Hell yeah. yeah. Have you ever done anything like that? <laughs> no, I haven't. That's that's cool. Yeah, I've been training for uh, NHB cage matches. Whoa. Have you ever seen that? Like Ultimate Fighting Show? Yeah. That's, that's wild. Man, she seems kind of shy for that. <laughs> Are you familiar yeah. with Kama Sutra? Kama Sutra? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I'm a Kama Sutra pro. You're a Kama Sutra pro? Yeah. I have like oils, oils of love, massage oils, really? edible body creams, all kinds of freaky wow. dicky stuff. Can, really. can you get, show me some uh, some moves? Like what, what's, what do you do with all that freaky dicky stuff? Well, well, we can start off with the, you know, uh, back massage. A back massage? Ba yeah, back you massage. Back massage? Yeah, really, really good. And feet massage, feet hand massage. massage. Oh, oh, you oh. can't go to the feet. Yeah, I, I, I hate I don't, feet. I'm not a feet person. You're honestly. not a feet person? No, I really don't know. I think Jax reading up at the Kama Sutra basically for herself. She probably freaks guys out, so she needed something else for herself in the bedroom. Yeah. You don't massage the whole foot. You just have certain spot well. on the foot that you massage. Right. That'll just take care of the whole thing. You know what I used to do for fun? It's actually, I used to take professional lessons on how to put people into a trance. It's awesome. You use the sound of your voice, and by giving people suggestions, you put them into this tranquil state. Or if you keep talking over and over, everyone exactly. just assumes they're in a trance. It's almost a meditation. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. kind of like a meditation thing, too. You keep talking and wow. talking. It was rude. I didn't think it was appropriate at all, but hey, that's broke. Rude and inconsiderate. You guys ready to get some food? Yeah, man, I'm hungry. I'm starving. I want some chicken. See. All right. After drinks, I took the girls over to have some dinner. And I really wanted to see what girls I could click with and, and which girls would actually uh, have fun and be themselves and be real in the first round. What's your favorite food? Chicken. It's a staple food for me <laughs> when you work out a lot. Chicken? You work out a lot? Yeah, I try to. Really? You know what was the worst, you guys? The other day I was trying to bench like 50 pounds, right? Nothing. Well, 
I got it caught on myself and I had to have somebody get it off. Isn't that awful? Do you need guys to help you with everything that you do? No, I don't need guys to help me with anything. Have you ever worked out before? Have you ever tried to bench weight? I teach kickboxing at the LA Fitness in Kearney Mesa, actually. You have like aerobics, right? Nothing. Where you're just like jumping up and down and... Well, I jump up and down a lot, actually. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> as long as you wear a sports bar, right? Exactly. When Jen started to get aggressive with the other girls and was antagonizing them, I thought it was great. Jen, open your mouth when you talk. Stop doing this. It's not very sexy, you know? She talks like this all the time. She talks like this. I have a question for you. What's, what's your question? When do you think a woman looks most beautiful? I think a woman looks most beautiful on a podium in a club, dancing, uh, under the lights. I'm glad you said that because I'm a go-go dancer at a club on a podium. You're a what dancer? So, a go-go dancer with clothes. So he's a freak. A freak. Freaky dick a freak. She's yeah, I would a love freak. I to see you dance uh, under the light. Ah, uh, freak. Freak. Can you, freak. Can you go, do go, girl. Part? She can do it. Go, girl. Do your freaky thing. The main reason I got up there was to break away from the other girls. I'll take a dare, you know? I'm not afraid. Bring it on. Yeah. Jesus. Get off white girl, white girl. Her dancing moves suck, okay? I was expecting a little bit more from her. I, I thought it was a little bit of a weak performance. Oh, do, you, do you think that you can do a better job? I'm gonna do it for you right now. Alright? Oh, shoot. I'm talking about go-go dancing, not cheetahs. No, honey, this is not cheetah. This is dancing right here. This is what you you're I'm a teacher, you're the student, and you need to take notes. I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking. Okay. What is she gonna do? Teach me how to be more ghetto and wear half tops and jeans and a nasty belt? Thank you very much. But I am not a go-go dancer. I do that for fun. Right. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Jack's dancing in the window. That girl can dance. She definitely has some moves. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the love. Table. Can you play pool? Yeah. You wanna go play pool? Sure, let's go play pool. Where are they going? Man, what the hell is going on over here? Hey, Barbie, where's my dude? No, Barbie has a small waist than she does. I took Gabe away because I thought those other girls were very annoying, and obviously I didn't have a hard time breaking him away from the others. He got right up, and there we went. I thought everyone was going to follow, but she took me down there by herself, and the other girls didn't follow. I have to warn you, I'm a very, very, very horrible, horrible pool player. Well, then that's, uh, uh, I suck as well, so. <laughs> oh. I don't I don't think I'm gonna be much competition for you. You know, she just had to resort. You guys, she had to use her last resort by pulling away from the rest man, of the She's a so freak, she man. She's a freaking yeah. dicky. So is the only reason you got me here all alone is just to play pool or I told you, I suck at pool. You suck at pool? She literally picked him up from the table and we were supposed to be in Damn, social chillers. And it's just ridiculous. So you know, we could just talk and we can just talk. Yeah. Alright. Well, you know what, though? You know what I am noticing? She's with him and we're here talking. So maybe we should go. Yeah, yeah, we need we need to go. It's just it's squeezing a little bit tighter so it doesn't, uh, yeah, it's good. Put the fingers in there? Yeah. So are we still playing games down here or what? I don't really play games much, but I think she was probably trying to get down the boy's pants or do whatever it took to get in there. Did it bother any of you that she took me away? Oh, we had a little debate over there about it, but you know what we talked about? It's the fact that obviously she's not secure enough with herself and she had to get you on your own. You have to get what you want. Sometimes you got to fight for it. That's true. Very you, true. And you, you got a pretty big weapon. Pretty plastic big weapon. Plastic. plastic. Can I, let, let me feel if it's not flat plastic. Cause feel I, it. <laughs> Man, how are you going to tell me it's not plastic? Man, I've felt boobs like that before. It's plastic! If you want big boobs, you can get them. Whether mine are real or not, it shouldn't matter to you, you know? Some yeah. of us have real breasts and we're proud of it. Really? Some of us have real breasts and we don't show them off like you do. Who's showing them off? I'm wearing a full covered top. Full covered, huh? Full covered, just because I have a red bra on. See through, and red lace, I don't know. At least I didn't dance covered. in a windowsill oh, and so not dance shot. well either, but hey. I'm not the only one that danced in the windowsill. Thank you, I'm At least she did a good job of it. I think Jen's really annoying. Everything that I say, she tries to top it or, you know, blow me down somehow, and it's just not working at all. Coming up, who will Gabe cut first? I think Gabe may be getting rid of Jack because I think she may be too much for him to handle. I think you should get rid of Sarah, and I would say Jen, but she's kind of fun to, and fiery to play around with. I think that Gabe should get rid of Brooke because she's not a very nice person. I think Gabe should cut Barbie. You know, Barbie's too fake. She needs to get out of here. She needs to hit the road. A limited. <laughs> Who do you think Gabe will eliminate 
first, Brooke, Jack, Jen, or Sarah? Okay, so here comes the part of the day where I get to play the bad guy. Uh, I want all of you to know that each of you have qualities that I'm really looking for in a girl. But I have made my decision, uh, and I am going to eliminate you, Sarah. Why? Uh, I just really wasn't feeling the connection. I Sorry. feel the same way. Okay. I'm actually a really fun person once you get to know me, but he and I really didn't click. She didn't really talk so much, and she, she was into all these boring stuff, you know, like kung fu yeah. and whooping ass and stuff like that, you know. Sarah, if you want to get a guy, um, go for someone who's really boring and, you know, maybe not frighten him so much by telling him that you could kick his ass. Gabe, I hope that these three other girls have fun with you because I didn't. For the next round, we're gonna go to Martini Ranch, one of my favorite night spots. We're gonna do some drinking, have a little fun. So, I'm kinda interested to know which celebrities you think each other resemble. What do you think, who do you think Brooke resembles? I think she resembles a porn star. What was that awful B movie that nobody ever watched? Was that her name? She thinks that you were in a porn movie. A B porn movie. A B porn movie. She and me, and she feels like she has to belittle other people in order to better herself. She's proud of her real boobs, then fine. And if I am proud of my boobs, whatever they may be, hey, they look better than hers, so who really cares? It was very hard to hear each other inside, so I took the girls upstairs. We're gonna talk. I wanna know if each of you had an unlimited amount of money, what plastic surgery would you get? Plastic surgery? You can do whatever you want to yourself. I would change my eye color. I would want color? to have gray, color, gray, gray, gray color. Gray? Gray. Gray. What would you do? Well, I think I would definitely, I would probably play some taller. Taller? I've always wanted to be a little bit taller, taller with green eyes. Okay. Brooke? A little bit more bubbly of an ass. A little bit more of a bubble ass? Oh yeah, you do for that has squats, but you'd have to get in the gym first. Oh, I do go to the gym, obviously. You don't. Got a little flag hanging here. Okay, guys, I'm a little over to the side, so I'm going to have to sit on his lap. Ooh. All right, baby. Okay, so see? Taste it. Taste this? You like that? Mm -hmm. let, let me taste it. Go, go, go. When they kissed, I was totally grossed out. Ew, from the first kiss I saw. Not happening. So Jack, you would change your eyes. Mm -hmm. What would you change on Jen? I don't know. Her eyebrows? My eyebrows? What would you change on my eyebrows? More thicker? What's this happening right here? Oh. So then, Brooke is running off in the corner whining, oh, oh, I think I have alcohol in my eye, and she's wanted to throw the drink in the first place. Get a little tipsy, a little drink spills on her stomach, and the next thing I know, she beats says pouring her drink in my head. What's that about? <laughs> ah! You guys want to have a wet t-shirt contest? Gee, I wonder who will win. you start spilling on, you think that would make it better that you spill on my crotch first? Any girl that tries to put a mess on me will get a can of whoop ass. What do we taste here? What do you taste? A little alcohol? Yeah. A little Cosmo? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, a little, little Is Cosmo. Is it up all right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this person in your car off is talking to me yeah. about morals. See? I'm not You're the one who wants Yours are hanging out, not mine. Oh, mine are hanging out. Oh, mine are I think shoulders and a woman's chest. Personally, Brooke is getting on everybody's damn 
I'm nervous. Once again, I think books should be cut. I mean, I think there's no question about it. There's no substance, no character. Gabe should get rid of Jed because it'll just make it easier for me to win when it's just me and Jack. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Gabe going to eliminate next? Brooke, Jack, or Jen? Okay, so it's time for the second cut. Uh, Jen, I want you to know that you're a very classy girl. Jack, you <laughs> you were crazy, a little bit wild, and Brooke, you really took things well that happened. But my decision comes down to you, Jen, because I really think the other girls fought for me, and you didn't seem to really care that much. So I'm sorry, you're the one that's eliminated. It's quite all right, don't All worry. right, no problem. If he wants two girls to fight over him, he can have them. I'm not that trashy. Jen tries to be sexy and she tries to act like she's really, really intelligent, but really she's putting up a front. She has nothing to offer anyone. I'm classy, I'm self-assured, and I know I'm gonna find a great guy out there, so I have no worries. In the next round, the girls wanted to get all dressed up for me. They wanted to show me what they had, and I'm gonna weigh outside for them, so I'm a little bit anxious to see how they do. Jack's outfit was okay, I don't know, kind of boring, like her. She looked like a damn hooker. Would you wear something like this? No. no? I look like a bunny rabbit. Would you wear something like that? time was running out with the two girls so what we did is we went next door and we had some pizza and I just wanted to ask the girls a few more questions just to sum it up so what do you think is the biggest difference between you and Brooke well I'm, I'm really wild. trying to make a decision I'm hella wild and crazy they call me I'm like a pistol yeah so, yeah I think that would, yeah I'm a pistol I don't know I think you're a pistol to everyone just because you know you need to show everyone that you're the center of attention because you know you're wild and crazy all the time and you like to you know make a show of yourself and I don't know, I just think it's sometimes it's classier and sexier from a guy's standpoint if you know you hold some of that back. The biggest difference between me and Go Go Barbie is that I'm real and she's not. The bottom line, she's ghetto and I'm classy. All night you have been in each other's throats and I would really love to end this date with a little bit of kiss and makeup. This is all you need. That's a little bit of kiss and makeup. I, I can deal with that. Well, I. Uh, <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Mm. That wasn't bad either. This is going to make it very difficult for me. Is there any chance that you two will kiss and makeup now? Not after the sticky hair. Really? Yeah. No? You're not feeling the love? Sticky and wet well, I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know? She'll do She's it. Down to Brooke, do it. she'll do it. That's Brooke, right. Brooke, she'll yeah, do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I volunteered to do it because I knew she's a chicken. Everybody oh. here would love to see you two kiss and make up. Would you not love to see it? Yeah, yeah, would you not yeah, love to see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. No? Come on. It Just is. come on. Come on. Just a little one. Just a little. All right. I didn't think that it was possible that they would do it because they were so pissed off at each other the entire night. But when they kissed, it honestly was the biggest turn on I've ever had. Will it be Brooke or Jack? Gabe's final cut is next. A limited. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the final cut. I want you both to know that this has absolutely been one of the most amazing dates I've ever been on but the decision still comes down. I have to eliminate one of you. All right. And my decision is, Jack. What? I'm sorry. What? What? <laughs> Give me That's a hug, <laughs> The two of you can kiss my ass, okay? The left one and the right one. I cut Jack because she was just a little bit too aggressive. She had a great personality, but it just really wasn't what I was looking for. Gabe, you can kiss this good booty goodbye, okay? That's ghetto fabulous booty. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.